Okay, um, so my class is about guillotine and arm triangle. Uh, just to make something clear already, I refer to arm triangle always when I do this. Okay, so if you differentiate between anaconda choke, darce choke, um, bravo choke, stuff like this, or like a, a side choke. Okay, for me, arm triangle for today, it will be um, anaconda chokes, basically. Okay, uh, I will tell you a little bit about the other things too. First, before we start into everything, um, I want to show you some concept for me that's important to control my opponent. And especially I like to use it in nogi, that's a guillotine grip with a chin grip. Okay, so I want to control the chin. So I have the head and I place his chin in my arm, okay, like this. Okay, so I'm not the biggest fan of just hugging the head. Okay, that's fine too. There are situations where I will hug the head and I will show you today. But uh, for just a control, I don't know, let's say he's in front of me, I catch the head, or even when we're standing and I want to catch the head, okay. I always, you on. I always try to control the chin, okay. I feel like I have a very good control over the, the whole body, okay. It's hard for him to just keep moving. Uh, the example will be made a little bit more clear when, let's say, I'm just falling to the side and I have his chin now, okay? So if I just have the head, okay, that's a, maybe a tight control too, but it's easy for him to just turn in any directions, okay? Because maybe you have seen it, but usually he will look into the direction where he wants to go. So by just holding his chin, it's already harder for him to move, okay? For sure he will, okay? Just, can you just slow it? Yeah, you see that he still moves? Okay. But now I hold like a little bit stronger and he goes, he's slower, and eventually I will come up with him, still controlling the chin. Okay? So, super hard for me to do that if I don't do it. Okay? Uh, I just want to start with ve something very simple. Is there anyone who um, has never done an arm triangle before, like an anaconda choke or something? Yeah. Okay. Uh, th th that's fine. Okay, so... Last year, I think I did one class, was advanced too, and like 80% of the people have never heard of the techniques. So <laughs> I had to switch a little bit. Okay, let's start very simple, okay? Just so you get the idea first of how I want to adjust, uh, how, how you should adjust the technique. So, let, you can start from turtle. Let's say like turtle, you catch the head, okay? So you get used to this grip, catch the chin, go over, be tight, okay? So now we do a simple technique uh, that's more like a, like a grappling wrestling technique. It's an um, cow catcher, or I think there are other names too for that. So I just get an underhook, okay? And now I turn my whole body and I turn my partner, okay? I still have the chin, okay? So some of you might know that you can still like tap someone from here. It's very uncomfortable. It's super annoying neck crank, okay? What we do now is very simple. So look, I just roll. So I just roll to this side here. I connect both of my hands. Okay, so maybe I turn this way so you can see it. So I have his chin still in control. I connect both of my hands. Okay, so some of you know that the hardest part is actually this arm. Okay, because I want to close the triangle like this, right? And some of you, if you have already tried it in sparring, you will realize that if your fingers are here and you close now your fingers, okay, you eventually hurt your fingers or you hold it tight, you squeeze, you squeeze, but slowly he's, can you push the elbow up? He's pushing the elbow up until you lose it. Okay, so here comes the first adjustment. So I connect both of my hands. Okay, one. So I pull my elbows down. For sure he will be strong using his elbow. Okay, can you yeah, use your elbow? Nice. Okay, so I pull it down, and now I use my legs, okay? So I come up with my leg, oh, sorry, and I push the arm down. Okay, it's enough to just push it. You don't need to like completely control the arm. Just enough to pull the arm down. And now look, I still have my arm, okay, can you see? It? I still have my arm, try to push with your elbow. It gets harder because my whole weight of my leg is pushing down. And now I adjust. I don't finish like this. Okay, I first pull my arm, that's on the chin, up, and to the inside. Okay, not just finishing, up to the inside. And now look at my hands, turn my hands, turn, shoot. Okay, 
So before we finish, I don't want you to finish him now. I just want you to get to this position first. Okay, you can let go and restart. Okay, just catch the head. Head with the chin grip. Tight with your chest and your shoulder. Get an underhook. Okay. Now I move the arm up. And I simply turn it. Okay. You can already start if you want to him getting an underhook. If you feel like more, that's a situation that will happen. Okay. Con you can connect both hands then already here. Roll to the side. He's always trying to open the elbow because if he's not giving me a reaction, I'm gonna tap him, right? So he's opening the elbow. It's hard for me to close. Hard for me to close my arms. So I use my leg. I come up. I just drop down. My arm's now free. I pull my arm up. Okay, like a little bit to the side and up. Side and up. Switch. Okay, and we just come to this position. For the finish, there's a special part I'll show you later, okay? Everyone got it? Head, underhook, cow catcher to the side. Okay, just roll, connect both of your arms, use your leg to trap the arm. Okay, three to one. Just because I don't want you to, con to confuse you, okay, let's break it down a little bit more, like, uh, like less steps, okay? Uh, because some of you have never done like a cow catcher before. Or doesn't know the, don't know the position, can you go down? Just go down. Just lay down. Okay. So, yeah, like a little bit more on the shoulder. Okay, side chest. Start from here. Okay. So we have the chin. Okay, you can come to the side. The chin grip we had before, right? So I'm leaning behind him. Behind his shoulder. Like this. Okay, chin grip. I connect my hands. Okay, so my hand stays on the chin. I connect both hands. Okay, so try not to be like here. Okay, of course, you can hold him by just squeezing, but you don't need to squeeze so hard when you have a good chin grip. Okay, so connect both hands. So the next thing is, remember, if he doesn't do anything, I probably will just have an easy time to just finish. Okay, see my hands, super free. So, but he's using his elbow, super strong, okay. I pull my elbows down as good as I can. I feel sometimes uh, I can even push the elbow completely down, okay? But that's then maybe just because I'm stronger, okay? And not because I do something very technical. Okay, so I'm here, I just hold the situation first. The chin, my hands, okay? And now I want to get rid of this arm because it's annoying, it's hard for me to close. Okay, so I use my leg, okay, I come up, push the arm down. Okay, up, and during that moment, I free my hand, you see this? Okay, so that's still not enough for me. Okay, I want to adjust. So my idea is always to adjust any submission until I feel like I have full control. Okay, uh, sometimes I'm even not satisfied with just getting a submission, even though an armbar is an armbar, right? Uh, so you, you can't say anything if you tap but getting a nice armbar with super control and you feel like there's no way out for the opponent. Okay, that only happens when you keep adjusting. Okay, so I'm here. And now look at my arm. One, two. And now don't do the mistake to let go and try to close, okay? Because your arm, you can see it on my arm, if I just let go, my arm drops down. Okay, so what I like to do is like this. I open. Okay, so you're here, you pull the arm up, and now look, turn, slide. Okay, so the arm st stays where it is, turn, slide, turn, slide, okay. So we're here, pull down, use my leg, pull the arm up, close. Okay, I want to already show you the way I'm finishing. Uh, the way I learned it was catching the legs. Catching the legs, moving towards the legs. Uh, I was always very unsuccessful with that, um, even though I didn't have all these adjustments. Okay, but I always felt like I'm chasing the people or it's just not enough pressure, I don't know. I get tired like walking or trying to catch some people's uh, legs. So I got, this, I, I got shown this detail like 2014, I think. And since then it helped me so much with every arm triangle I did. So I'm here, 
okay? I have already a tight control. And now look, I get my back straight and I push my chest forward. Okay, it looks like this. Okay, no need to chase. So I'm here, tight, okay? And now I don't move, so like I don't bend my body. Push with my chest. So I'm here. Okay, last time. Chin grip, start with the chin grip. Connect both hands, use your leg. Adjust, turn, chest. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, uh, that were the details, like the most important details uh, I learned for the Anaconda, for me personally. There are for sure hundreds of ways to do it. Uh, my biggest problem was always that I got tired using the arms and I saw at that time some interviews, people saying, oh, I'm, I'm trying to sound so good because you get tired so fast and um, I actually learned lots of the details 2014, I told you, right? Um, I went to California, I had like this private class uh, and with Rafael Mendez, some people know his name or not, it doesn't matter, but like uh, the details he showed me for the adjusting are very similar to that what I showed you right now, okay? And especially the finish helped me a lot, okay? Don't need, uh, the, that I don't need to chase the legs, okay, all the time and bending my body and feels awkward for me, okay? So for me, always felt super strong since then using my chest and I feel my hands, they stay light, okay? I don't get tired of smashing and squeezing, okay? It's like, I think, was, was it? Charles, who said it at one class, more like a locking instead of just squeezing. Okay, I got the same idea. Like after I adjust and I'm tight, that's it. Okay, there's there's no need for me to keep squeezing super hard. For sure you can. Okay, it's not that just because I, I tell you you don't need to. Okay, that you never do. Okay, for sure you do. But it's different. Uh, different if you're super tired after the one submission and then the next time you get it, you're like. Oh, I can't do it anymore, okay? Or if you're able to be very efficient with your pressure, okay? So that's why I like to use the chest and not the squeeze, okay? Here I just get tight and make sure that my hand is like, not here on my biceps, like more, like, even like this eventually. So I can keep my hand loose after the adjustment, okay? It's just, I think this step is very important, okay? Uh, keep that in mind. Um, so I just want to show you a couple of entries from there and I would say let's start with a half guard one, just because some of you already did half guard, so that might be a little bit an easier transition to it. And uh, after that I show you, m maybe for some people more complicated, but it's an advanced class, so be prepared. <laughs> okay, so let's say I'm in half guard. Um, doesn't matter if he's using now a knee shield or no. Okay. I'm in this situation, uh, you can step your leg, just watch out that the guy doesn't underhook the leg, okay, so especially for Nogi. Uh, so I'm here, what I like to do is I, I use my hand to control his hand, to control his, um, his head, okay, so it's not allowed to squeeze uh, on the neck, like doing this, oh, okay, but it's allowed to just have your hand like this and control. That's sometimes super nice if the people want to spin underneath, Okay, so people my weight class and lower, they really like to do lots of spinning, especially if they eventually use a reverse de la Hiva hook. Okay, so if he wants to spin and I'm able like, to hold him, that's very uncomfortable oh, on the neck. You can do that from bottom too. Hold someone like this. Okay, if he runs into it, he's basically choking himself. Just don't do this. Or right, using your thumbs. Okay, so that being said, I'm here. For those uh, who don't want to be too crazy, okay, you can just do it super slow and easy. You catch the head, connect to the chin grip, connect both hands, okay? For everyone who wants to have it more like a situation that could happen is you try to control the distance, the guy gets his chance, he tries to attack an underhook and try to go to your back, okay? You can slow him down. I always grab the head first, okay? I don't like to whistle now. Okay, I feel like that gives him the chance to roll me over. Okay. Oh, no. yeah. You can do that too. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. I just wanted to do the setup, huh? 
<laughs> okay, so uh, he's up. Okay, I always catch the head first. Because eventually uh, I can just like move myself away from the back. Okay, and I still have a good chin grip. Okay, from there you can underhook, do the how catcher I was showing in the beginning, or some other stuff. You can even connect your hands already. Okay, and just pull the guy to the side, and you will end up in the same situation. Some people like to roll more, okay? But watch out that you don't fall on your head. <laughs> so, I'm here, okay? Con try to control the distance, he gets his chance, he gets an underhook. I catch the head, I connect to the chin, okay? Good connection, shoulder on top, don't be loose. Sub, connect both hands, and now I need to roll, okay? Can a bit more? This. So I'm here, I connect both hands, and now I wanna land behind him. Okay, just a simple roll. If you get stuck, doesn't matter, you have a second leg, you can just free your leg, okay? So let's say I'm here, I roll, he's holding me, I just use my leg to open, and I'm here. Still have my chin grip, controlling with both hands, elbow in, I come back with my leg, my hands free now. Okay, pull, tight, turn, finish. Okay, sub, turn, lock. Now just keep it locked. You can't even let go of the arm. You don't need to hold it anymore. Chest forward, finish. Okay. okay. So he's here, he's getting up, or if you don't want him to get up, you can easily just connect the head, connect both arms, roll, use the leg, connect, and finish. Okay, three, two, one. Let's try that out and then we do the next thing. Okay, um, the reason why I think some people of you had trouble in the beginning, okay, it was maybe a little bit my fault, um, because I was showing it first with the underhook, right? And now you're confused because at somehow at the end you have like the head and you're over the arm, like an overhook, right? Uh, that's actually one thing I wanted to explain you, like different ways to enter it, because that's actually a really good way to control your opponent and to um, make it hard to see, okay? Because they don't know, they're not expecting, okay? That's why I like the underhook so much, okay? Uh, just one thing I want to show you. Uh, we were rolling, right? And we were just landing on our back. That's fine as long as we're on the knees, okay? So as long as I'm kind of half guard or something like similar, I can just easily just roll and be here, okay? But as soon as you're a little bit more higher up and you do the roll, you don't, you don't want him to first of all roll with you and secondly, you don't want to fall super hard on your back, okay? So uh, if you want to do it, let's say from... Leave it up. Just sit on your back, yeah. Okay. Like a situation like this, okay? You're catching the head, you have a good control, but you, I want to jump now. Okay, for, well, I can even use this grip now. Uh, if I would just roll, it could be fine. I think easier for him to follow. So I kind of need to jump a little bit more, especially because I want to land behind his back. Okay, uh, so what you need to do for this is you need to post your legs. Okay, so if you have never done that before, that's a, a common thing, um, like a bridge, the finishing uh, motion of a bridge where your hips are up. Okay, you do that to have like a to, to save your back so you're not falling hard. If everyone, uh, any one of you ever got swept by like an overhead sweep or something, usually the people don't want you to roll with them so they kind of kick you a little bit. And sometimes you drop super hard on your back. Uh, you can avoid that by simply, when I'm not falling, not boom, landing hard on my back. Okay, but rather doing, trying to find the ground like with your legs. Okay, so every time you kind of, you try to attack, the guy's like sweeping you. I use my legs. Okay, try to keep my hips up. Try to not drop super hard on my back. And I would use the same thing here. So if I want to jump now, I would kind of try to step with my legs and not drop super hard like with my lower back. Okay, so then I'm here. And then you can easily come back, control the arm, get up. Close and finish. Okay. So just uh, if you're ever like super high and you want to do the technique, make sure to think about that. Okay. Uh, so now I want to show you something 
that might be for some people a little bit more hard to do if you've never done it before, okay? But I'll show you an, an easier way and then more uh, a way like I like it, I like to do it, okay? So, I just, uh, let's say I do the same situation. Can you turn a little bit more? So, the same situation and a half guard, okay? He has a knee shield. So the knee shield's super annoying because he's not really giving me the, the chance to get an underhook. Okay. So he's basically just here trying to control the distance. Okay. So what I do now is, first I control the arm. So I lean a little bit on the arm, okay. like this. I connect, okay. can even adjust a little bit if you want to make it more tight. Okay. And now what I do is like this, I step now. Safe to step because I'm blocking the arm. Okay, if you're, if you're here now, eventually you will get an underhook. So I control the arm and I step my leg back. Now look, I slide, like a knee slide, but shin slice over the legs. Shoulder pressure and I come right back behind his leg. Okay, so now you see that I'm like here with my shoulder, you see that? So I'm here, I bring my head closer to him and I'm in this situation. Okay, it's like a leg weave. You can control it just with your foot but sometimes the people have like shorter legs and it's easier to just have the leg on the hip. Okay, so now look what I do. I get the underhook, pretending I want to pass. But I don't pass. So I'm here, I have the underhook, I catch the head, and now I roll. I roll, I have the arm. Remember the first situation where you got confused because I'm not here, but here. Now this one becomes important. Okay, because I'm pulling him with me like this. Okay, and instead of connecting my hands now first, like letting go, connecting, I pull the arm and now I come back first and then I connect. Okay, so I roll, I pull him into me, I come back, connect my, heart, my arm as soon as my leg hits uh, the arm, I pull my arm again. Okay, that's the detail I correct the most now. So watch uh, carefully one more time. I'm here and I pull the arm like almost in a, like not straight up, but like with a little curve. Outside, 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 and now the arm comes to the inside, 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 top. Okay, that's super tight. Okay, if you see his eyes, it's probably super red. Okay, so I'm here, boom, turn, connect, chest, finish. Okay, so one more time. And now it looked confusing. If you have uh, never done this way of crazy dog to leg, leg weave, okay, so if you're not that advanced, you can start from simply here. Okay, it's like a knee slide, but the leg is over. Okay, place the leg, then the knee on the mat. You have this leg here. You get the underhook. Okay, you see, I usually use my head a little bit more, so the arm is really on this side. Shoulder can pick him up a little bit if the head's like laying on the mat. Connect, grab the chin, now roll. Pull him with you. Connect, up, in, finish. <laughs> Sorry, that's okay. Okay, so the setup for the more advanced people, one more time. So I'm here half guard, I control the arm, control the distance. As soon as I control the arm, I can step the leg. Okay, so one, two. I'm here, I'm fighting him. One, two, three, slide. See that I'm pushing him down with my shoulder? Step in. Underhook. Okay, some people, they, they're hooking the legs, okay? That's uncomfortable, but you can just move a little bit or even sometimes use your second leg to free. Okay, but I don't have a problem like this. I usually just circle the leg back and it's done. Okay, so I'm here. Underhook, pull him. Catch the shoulder, roll, pull him, okay, down, connect my hands, up, in, circle, slide, chest. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. That they have now a harder time finishing it. Actually, it's, uh, I just want to say it for everyone uh, again, maybe it helps. Um, it's exactly the same situation as before. Don't get confused just because the setup changes a little bit, okay? You will experience that more and more the more you train Jiu-Jitsu that sometimes the setup will be different, okay? 
the end position should be always the same, okay? So if you're, there, there's sometimes, of course, technical mistakes you do, but what maybe help you is that you just think about what you did before, like at the time where it worked, and just imagine you did the same entry, okay? Then it should be easier for you to catch up again. Okay, if you have the feeling, oh, okay, it should be the same, but somehow it's not, okay? So sometimes it's just uh, your mind that you got confused because the setup changed, okay? Um, I know it's, it's hard if, you don't, if you've never done this pass before, or like this scenario. Uh, I just want to show you things I like to set it up, like I, I really enjoy this way. I just want to show you another one for the other side, actually, okay, where you kind of pass. Maybe because the guy or the girl doesn't give you the elbow, like the underhook, okay? So one more time, the first one. So if you have done the pass, make sure you control the arm. You put your arm to the inside. Okay, can you turn a little bit more? You put your arm to the inside, so you can put shoulder pressure on the knee. Okay, I always make sure that the knee is not like this, but like really stuck into me. So now I'm squeezing it between my uh, thigh and my shoulder. Okay, just a couple details for the pass. I control the arm, you can control it like this too. That's fine. I just feel like I can lean like this better than like this. Okay, that's why I like to grab like this. Step, I slide and I push with my shoulder. You can even just put your knee first here, that's fine. Okay, what I do is I just slide to the inside. Now the leg pops up. And you can see already when I just keep my head close, I already have the underhook. Okay. But let's say he does, he does a good job. Okay, I don't need to just stay like tight. I feel like I don't really get the underhook. Okay. So what I do now is like this. I get this underhook. Okay, I get an underhook on this side and I simply keep walking. Now I'm passing, right? And I have an underhook. Looks like a, almost the finish of a knee slide pass. I got this underhook. Every time I get this underhook, there's a chance for me to attack the submission. Okay, so what I do now is, can you turn? So I have the underhook. Do you see I'm close to the hips? I'm not here yet. Okay, I feel like that's more armbar potential. So I'm here, closer to the hips. Okay, I grab in and I push the, uh, the biceps down. Okay, make sure that you stay tight. Now I step over, okay? As I step over, I do a windshield wiper, that's the, this motion. Just to control the, the arm. If it's like, again, for some people, you've never done it before, forget that step. It's not necessarily, it's just an addition. If you like, if you know what I'm talking about and you want some extra detail, that's the detail. Do the windshield wiper. Okay, if not, that's fine too. I show now without the windshield wiper, so I'm here. Okay, and during the rolling motion, I catch the head. Okay, usually when I kind of roll a little bit to the side, the people start to lean into me, okay, because the arm is blocked. It's hard for him to always uh, stay to this side, so the people want to face and kind of, okay. So I'm here, I'm rolling, catching the head, pulling him into me again, and I have the same situation on the other side, okay. Uh, some people have problems to catch the arm, okay. Just pull the arm like a little bit down. So don't stay always here, pull it a little bit down, use the leg, and as your leg is here, you can already let go and connect your hands. Just be fast, okay? It's like a seat belt grip, super tight, okay? If you want, you can lock, okay? I do that sometimes, but it's not necessary, okay? So I'm here, can you turn a little bit? And now don't get confused again, it's the same scenario we just did all the time, okay? Just now the other hand. <coughs> Grab my wrist, pull up, pull closer, turn, Slide in, okay, use my chest. So one more time. For everyone who uh, never done the pass before, you can start from here. Simply from here, with an underhook. He will try to face me, I'm pushing the biceps down, stepping over, catching the head. Windshield wiper if you want to. Fall in, connect, connect both hands, up, Finish. Okay, for everyone else, one more time, do the pass. Turn a little bit. Perfect. So I'm here, control the hand, control the thigh, step, slide, 
place my knee to the inside. Okay, he's not giving me the underhook. You can even use the second leg too. Underhook the other side. Okay, just underhook and pass. That's number one. Okay, he will try to face me and get the guard back. I stay tight. Okay, pull him into you. I like to use the shoulder to pull him into my hips. Okay, now I put the arm down, the biceps can turn. Biceps down, can move a little bit to the side to get more space. Knee up, catch the head. Wing cheek wiper, only if you want to. Otherwise, keep rolling, pull him into you. A little bit down, the arms now free. Keep it on the chin until you catch it. Up. And finish. Okay, three to one. Okay, uh, for me, the most important things you should take from this class, okay, are not the special setups, it's that you can control your opponent very good with a chin grip. Okay, so I, I use that always. More nogi than gi. Okay, I, I love the collar grip, but nogi, it's so nice to control the opponent. Catching the head, getting a good uh, chin grip. Okay, it can save you from so many positions. If you fall over, you can't submit the guy and you can still do something, okay? Because uh, I was explaining it to someone, I forgot. Um, even though you would spot, uh, fight in a submission only tournament, okay, and you would say, oh, okay, I just jump for the submission because there are no points, okay, so what, what, what's the matter? Still, in my mind, I don't want to give up the top position, okay, so even though I might dive for this under counter choke or for a guillotine or a dar choke, it doesn't matter, like for every submission I jump in and I land on bottom, I want to have some kind of uh, something that saves me if anything goes wrong. Let's say I can't finish, the guy is too good. Like he, he knows my details, he knows how to defend, like everything is defendable, okay, that's like, there are no 100% things. Uh, I think that's, that's why we all like Jiu-Jitsu. <laughs> um, so, but the thing is, if I'm down and I can't get it, and I still have the chin grip, eventually I get up on side control again. Eventually I come up to mount. If everything goes wrong, I should have a good chance of getting up and both standing but I don't want to be on the bottom and I can't finish, now I'm tired, the guy goes on top, now side control, bottom or mount bottom. Okay. I don't like that. Okay, that's hard to defend okay, in every bad position, especially if you fight someone very good. Okay, they, they won't give you the guard back so easy. So eventually that's now their turn to tap you. So even though there are no points, okay, think about that, that you have the chin grip. I feel very uh, comfortable when I have it and I feel like I can always come back. I even come back to mounted guillotine and all the stuff, uh, or I do the under counter things, okay? Uh, the second thing is how to adjust this arm triangle. I think that's a similar concept for most of my triangles, like arm triangles or even like normal triangles. I want to get like as tight around here as possible, like with as much of my flesh as possible, and I don't want to keep any space. The more space you leave between you and the guy, the more you need to squeeze. And eventually the squeezing goes not on the right point and then the guy will not choke or you will not even crank, okay? So think about that, that you always adjust and you will feel that you can easily transla translate that to chokes in gi, okay, where you keep adjusting, adjusting. So most of the time when I tap the people, it's already so tight that they probably would have tapped anyways, even though I would not put pressure, okay? So I think that's my idea. So chin grip, always adjusting. For the anaconda, okay, use this grip, I like this more. You can try this one, it's fine. I like this one more to put the elbows down, you know what I'm saying, like ah, strong or pulling some, someone to me. But if I want to just pull this arm up, I don't like this grip, okay, or this. I like to have my hand like this. Because then I just pull my hand up, okay. Can be loose at the same time, so my, my muscles are not under tension. So I kind of get super sticky to the neck and then I don't let go and finish. I try to keep my hands in place and just slide, okay? So that, those are the most important details. Uh, if you want, the, the camp goes until, I think, Sunday. You can always ask me for different entries from all positions because I really like to do this entry, having a chin grip, having an underhook, uh, from standing, from bottom, from 
uh, I don't know, several guards, uh, side control. Okay, so if you have any questions about that or you have a favorite position you like to do and you want to add this, uh, just hit me up and ask me. Uh, thank you for the training. A couple of the techniques I have on my Instagram, so if you want to check that out, it's Mario Drills. I also have um, some handouts for you. So I only have 20 though, so be fast. And for everyone who did not get a handout, I eventually put them online. We'll see. Sometimes I forget. Okay, uh, I will leave that here and let's make a quick group picture and then you can go for the.